PC back to work. Hey everybody, I'm Luke Rosenberger. I just uh, shared with the message at South Fellowship. If you would like to uh, watch the full sermon, I encourage you to go to southfellowship.org and to watch the sermon. Uh, but if you already did that, or um, you just want to see the su summary here, uh, yeah, thanks for watching on the Daily Devos. So, uh, the passage today was from um, Matthew chapter 7, and it was verses 21 to 29. And this is how Jesus finishes his Sermon on the Mount, and it's the last of our series in uh, the Sermon on the Mount. And so, um, <clears throat> just looking at this a little bit, um, this text, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of, of my Father who is in heaven. Many of you will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, we did, not pro did we not prophesy in your name, and in your name drive out demons, and in your name perform many miracles? Then I will tell them plainly, I never knew you. Away from me, you evildoers. So this is the, the first section, uh, and this is the part um, that I would say is what we called, in the sermon, we called um, relationship. So Jesus wants us to build a life based on relationship with Jesus. Uh, and so uh, then there's uh, some, some key things that Jesus, uh, or that the people were doing. They said, did we not prophesy in your name and did we not drive out demons in your name and perform many miracles so here's this idea like if uh if we do these things if we prophesy and drive out demons perform miracles doesn't that make us aren't, there, aren't those the things that jesus wants us to do aren't those the things that um that are good um but here is the part where Jesus will tell them plainly, I never knew you. So there's that <clears throat> relationship. So it's based on a relationship with Jesus and without a relationship with Jesus, doing things out of performance here uh, is not what Jesus wants. He doesn't want us to perform. Um, but it seems kind of like a contradiction because the next part is um, <clears throat> is this. In verses um, 24 through 27, uh, Jesus says, Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who builds his house on the rock. The rain came down, and the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house. Yet it did not fall, because it had its foundation on the rock. But everyone who hears the words of mine and is, does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. The rain came down, and the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell with a great crash. So, Jesus here is talking about practice. Now, uh, he had just... So, we're looking at kind of the difference here in performance for Jesus and practice um, Jesus' words. So, it seems like that could contradict. Um, could, would, does Jesus really want us to practice his, his words but not perform? Well, I think the idea here is that we're um, that we're putting into practice Jesus's words, um, and we do that when we first have a relationship with Jesus. If we're um, without relationship with Jesus, He's going to say, "I never knew you." So, um, performance uh, is what we do for Jesus, but when we have a relationship, that leads to obedience and putting our putting uh, Jesus's words into practice, um, and so and that's and that's the difference because then Jesus contracts uh, contradicts uh, the next part. Not uh, he he contrasts. I'm sorry. He contrasts the next part by saying, um, "But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice, here's that practice part again." He's like a foolish man. So we have a wise man and a foolish man. And the foolish man built his house on the sand versus the wise man building his house on the rock. And so it kind of makes sense that you would not build your house on something that could 
make it fall down like the sand uh, versus building your house on the rock, the rock of Jesus. So we have a relationship with Jesus. Then we put into practice uh, Jesus' words. Um, And if we don't put them into practice, Jesus says, we are like a foolish man who builds their house on the rock. The rain that came, rain came down, streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell with a great crash. And so, do we want a great crash of a house, or do we want a house that did not fall? Kind of obvious there, but, <clears throat> um, and then, uh, yeah. So Jesus wants us to have a relationship. He wants us to practice, uh, put into practice His words, um, and that's. That's different than performing for him. Now, yes, could we prophesy in Jesus' name and can we drive out demons and perform miracles once we have that relationship with Jesus? Yes, Um, but it's not a performance. It's out of relationship with Jesus first and then putting his words into practice leads to obedience. And when we are putting words into practice and obeying him, there's going to be great things that we do in his name. And that's the difference between um, performance and uh, practice. And then Jesus finished, uh, when he finished saying these things, the crowds were amazed at his teaching. And because he taught with one who had authority and not as teachers of their law. So Jesus just kind of finishes this whole sermon um, by just talking about a wise man and a foolish man building their house on the rock and on, or on the sand. And when he's just finished... And uh, the crowd was amazed, but they had a choice to make. Were they going to follow Jesus or were they not? Um, They saw as Jesus had taught with one who had authority and not as the teachers of their law, they saw that Jesus was living out what he was preaching. And when they saw that, it says in, in the next verse, in Matthew 8, 1, it says the great crowds followed him down the mountainside. So many people chose to follow in Jesus' way. And that's our hope for each of us, is that we choose to put Jesus' words into practice, in relationship with him, and follow with his way, in his way, and with his heart. And so thanks for uh, following along today, and I hope that and pray that this week would be an encouragement to you as you learn how to um, continue in relationship with him, Uh, and putting his words into practice, but not out of performance. So, all right, have a great week.